Okay, I'm back, and I, it basically teleported me over here. Okay. I always have time for you. Oh, well, shit. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. She she basically you know said, I can't believe uh, I can't wonder what Jell is going through right now. All right. Um. It. Oh what? Looks like pictures of the exaltation chamber. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the kid are using some Angaran made medical equipment. Could be a lead. Interesting. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I'd be devastated. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left and I was well. Her age now. Huh. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. If you think about it, he's dead no now. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. You're too tough for that. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. Hey. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later. Damn straight. We're getting it in somehow. Oh. I'm in the bio lab. Why is the nomad up there? Hey, Kaylee. Ooh, baby. This is always a You're sight for sore eyes. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Go angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Need to talk? Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Kick them in the teeth. Great. But the cats steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Joe. What's I can't up? get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, uh, everyone is all can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. Uh Yeah. What do you expect? I'm not even the pathfinder for every Milky Way species, let alone the Angara. Maybe not officially, but on the ground. Hard to ignore how much we do, and what's left to do. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it... It has to be normal. I need something... familiar. Like what? Can I show you something? Sure. Did you bring anything... from the Milky Way? Uh, yeah. One or two things. But the weight limits were real strict. <laughs> I know. That's why I made arrangements. It's... <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family worked in it together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? What? Friends in Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. <laughs> you got one and here? My father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. Holy shit. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. Hey, man. It means your family, the Angara, this team. We're all lucky you care so much. Yeah. I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. They won't, man. Join the club. The screw up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> this 
This will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Good man. Hey, Liam. Maybe he has some new dialogue? Pathfinder. Sorry if things got strange last time we talked. No, nah, no, nah, it's You're fine. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um, felt really good. Honored. I know it was really personal. Thank you for trusting me with it. You say that like I was making logical choices. Thanks for getting it. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship. Like the market on Aya. Hmm. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on. But mostly, it's a day out. Something familiar. Turns out I need that. That's a good idea. Actually, let me check something real quick. Okay, I just realized I it was quite possible that I wasn't even recording this whole time. But it, I checked it. It's actually recording, so that's good. Huh. Maybe Vetra has something new. What up? I always have time for you. Tell me about raising Sid. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> what about your mother? Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were huh. really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whenever my dad did, destroyed any chance of that. Ouch. Where was home? Palavan? No, we'd already left Palavan by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. Hmm. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. Minos Wasteland? That sounds familiar. How did you keep you and your sister afloat? Do you ever go there is my question. Myself, so lots of unskilled work, construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. Huh. That's nice. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Alright. Hmm. Seems everyone has like a dialogue or two. Oh. Okay. It's <laughs> Okay. I guess it was a glitch that there was there. Beep boop. Read the mission briefs. Yeah. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. We gotta handle him, come on now. We'll figure him out. Pride will get us all killed. This ain't the time for it, kid. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. Not my style. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. I know. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists, and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. I got my own army. But I've got you. And everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. <laughs> you keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> We'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Thanks, Grandpa. Hey. We could... 
Guess he has new. No, 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 no yep, nothing new. Hey. What does Sam I gotta say? The exaltation facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons and know not what we destroyed. That's a fair description of exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it, destroys it. I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. Sing. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. I got a lot of. Yeah, got a lot of these. Message from Voiled Intel on Cat 2 Rider from Rayless. Greetings, Pathfinder. My name is Rayless. I serve the Ungarian Resistance. Some of our scouts have returned with injury information on the cat that I'm certain intrigued. You can't wait for wait for Unveiled. Come, please come soon. Stress test from Ryder to Callow. Hello, Ryder. Quite the rescue. The Tempest isn't intended for these kinds of thing, uh, kinds of operations, but she's performing splendidly. Not I encourage you to risk your life for stress tests or anything. Still well done. Spoke to the Massey when I happened to pass Med Bay. She left an impression, I must say. Patient, remarkably, remarkably driven. It's easy to see how she withstood the pressures of torture and that place. Sometimes I wonder what my people could do with a bit more time to be patient, Callow. Should be sleeping but be sleeping but two rider from Gill work forty two hours straight, ships humming, called it quits to get a little shut eye, but I'm wide awake here. Figure to use the time to practice my poetry. Didn't know I practiced poetry, neither did I, because I don't. But here goes Helios, are you healing us? <laughs> or we will regret ever coming because of cat um are forever bumming our space wait a minute that's actually good or wait a minute is that actually good or is it a limit spear <laughs> my brain falling asleep gil never mind two writer from gil you know what you know how i'm out here searching for my true purpose yeah poetry ain't it helis helis are you healing us sheesh gil thanks for listening two writer from lean enough said ghost <laughs> That last talk. Two writer from Vetra. Writer, thanks for listening to me. I hope you didn't come across whiny. Could my life be been different? Sure. Could have had a dad, a mom, a rigid upbringing with great prospects and turning civil service and that stiff collars and yes sirs to go along. What am I saying is different, not always better. Don't regret anything I've done to get where I am. Don't regret coming here either, Vetra. About Liam's movie night. To Ryder from Suvi, dear Ryder, heard what Liam's planning seems like a great idea, even if you, there are, even if things are unsettling on the moment, I'd love to help out, stop by when you can, Suvi. Huh. Oh. Cool. I'd love to have a movie night. Well, I didn't talk to Kala or Suvi yet, so might as well climb on up and talk, give them a little good tongue wagon. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Ah, oh, she, she's gonna... He's not going to stop unless I actually check it out. PB, don't tell me we actually agree on something. <laughs> Give me them rewards. I'm going to assume that the commerce pod is all... 100% done. Lab technician. Yeah, sure. I'll grab a lab technician. Huh. Interesting. I don't know what this is, but okay. <gasps> Bye, Jack. You always look hungry. These things make for a good snack or target practice. Hmm. Is there anything I could develop? 
No. It's all the same, but I can't get the supercharge. I don't have enough graphite. What about research? Give me that. I want this thing to be good, but it doesn't seem it's gonna match. It's gonna match the, the um, the Falmic or the, oh, the pistol I have. I have so much points for this shit. Like, what What should I even get? This is all for armor and shit. And the weapons, I honestly don't give f- Ooh, wait, never mind. It seems like it's updated. It didn't have these, um, things before. Seems like, uh... These are high damage weaponry. Especially this pistol. Huh. Should I get a sword? Nah. What this shit? Scatter shot. Shadow sniper. Or no sniper. A cryo gauntlet. This is, I found one of these on the ground. What about armor? What does this do? Damage resistance, health regeneration, shield regeneration, health and shield regeneration delay. Let's see how high we could get this. Fully upgraded armor. Oh man, there's a stronger one. Interesting. No, I'm not level 30. I can't get that. Why do those ones require? Oh, I guess because the chest... Like these, you won't get advanced versions, I'm assuming. But the chest piece... Yeah, the chest piece, it seems like. No. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Garen Gorilla. Cat Fusion. Ilias Defender. How about ours? Still got the Hyper Guardian. Whatever. <laughs> I made this last time, and I wanted to make this. Let's see if I can make leg. Yes, I can. What about arms? I can. That's good. And I, this thing's not glowing, so I'm assuming I don't need it. First things first, let's equip. Oh shit. Hello. Settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callow. Callow's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. That's good. Your we should check it out. Dromos is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? Is there a rush? Just saying, if I created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. I actually wanted to they go just there. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slide. 
Now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Huh. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Yeah. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It's because I I respect they took off my um my pistol. Let's put on some new armor. Cat fusion. What do we got? Max shields, max health. I don't want any of that. Anyways, PB wanted to talk. Nah, -uh -uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. Really? I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly, stop digging. Alright, alright. Fine. Have your surprise. You won't regret it. Want me to ask the others to back off? No, no, I can handle it. As long as they're not looking to be besties. <laughs> and I'm happy that someone with the galaxy at their fingertips can still give a girl her space. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. We both are. I don't have to explain genetics to you, do I? Everyone is one of a kind. <laughs> yes, yes. Assuming you're not a clone. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices. All right, all right, all right. Actually... Is there anything new I have to say to you? Writer. Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. They're not in Garen anymore. They're no longer in Gara. The cat changed them into something else. That's the atrocity. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, Definitely. the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. <sighs> Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Hey, Suvi. The swelling has gone down significantly. And I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Mm -hmm. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Damn. Thank you, Lexi. <laughs> Lexi and her rules, huh? Hey, I respect Lexi and her rules. She takes care of us. Without her, I might still be wheezing and trying not to choke in my fat tongue. I... What? <laughs> Have you ever heard of the lick test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. You licked something. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? Yeah. She was. It's still difficult to talk about her. We all took her passing hard. I'm sorry. I hope it helps to know that what she and your father achieved with Sam is truly astounding. Thank you. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me. Mm. And then lived out their lives while I slept. Of course they're proud. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. I needed that. Anytime. All right. Liam Just... says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because 
It didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Huh? Every vid's better with snacks, right? True. I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. <laughs> Find a plant on Aya. Okay, so it's an Ayan plant. Hey, Kello. You, did. you can't just undo ten hours of work. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks. Something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient. Just because it doesn't match your sainted specs. And now it does. As you say, deal with it. <laughs> Kello. I know, just... Please don't let this distract you. What? What can I do for you? Oh. Got nothing else to say. So I have to speak to Cora and Jill. Hey, Cora. Aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jal faces every day, now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. You don't need his take. You're doing Why? fine. This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father. They always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. <laughs> plans... We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. Plans are for At least things now that... We can prepare to fight the cat. Plans are plans. Sarissa will don't have a strategy. Plan. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Um, those are... <laughs> Arknid. Why do you have this in here? Draw. What are you doing? Anything else you need to say? Back again? Ah, uh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. So... Head on into Drawl, see you. Oh. Jaw? What's up? Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Sure. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? Want to talk about it? I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. <laughs> That's kind. You are kind. I think there's a glitch for his romance. Like these. Are you close to your family? Are you? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the 14. community. <laughs> we all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? Um... I w yeah, I guess. I was. I am. My mom and dad are dead. My sister's really sick. She's on the Nexus. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that what? kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. Okay. This is where I should be. That's good. Glad you're along for the ride. Me too. Ah. Anything else you want to say? 
is always more to say and to learn, isn't there? More about you. Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Well, how are Did your you education? Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... <laughs> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. You did good the at it. The cat occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life at my age. Interesting. I hope being here will inspire me. Isn't that part Can of you dreams? Tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have one. Sit down. This will take time. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sahuna. And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins. All raised together. Huh. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone, taken, or killed by the Ket. We never found his body. Huh. My dad died on our first mission here. I didn't know him as well as I could have, I guess. I think I was close to mine, yet maybe close has a different meaning for humans. Something to learn, I guess. Anything else you want to ask? What's your Do hopes? Do Gara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Huh. Well, enough about that. All right. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong and clear. <laughs> Stay strong and clear. Hmm. Lexi, you got anything to say? Yo, getting close. Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. New memory fragment. I ran across another memory fragment. Dad made Sam for Mom. To cure her. I knew that was part of it, but... You didn't know it was the driving force? Yeah. He gave up everything trying to save her. You didn't realize how important his family was to him? No. I guess not. Maybe that's what he wanted you to see. Interesting. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Why do you say that? I hate that. Can I do any vidcons? Yeah, I figured not. Usually it notifies me, they're like, This person's on call. Okay, well I guess I'll go talk to the Moshai. And I still need to talk to Gil. Hey, Bashai. What up? Just need to rest up a bit while I recover my strength. Just need to rest oh. up a bit while I recover I thought she said I could talk to her to, like, get a bit more information. Guess I'll talk to Gil. <sighs> Shit. Real. Okay. Gil's the last one I haven't talked to yet. I have a feeling it's a cutscene. Yep. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. What is Shoot. it? Shoot. When all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? <laughs> Where the heck's that coming from? Jill. The best friend I mentioned while you were killing me at poker. <laughs> She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda initiative, it... 
We're basically here to spawn. <laughs> it took you this long to figure that out? I told you. I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. <laughs> I knew this thing was just a glorified dating service. <laughs> the biological imperative is kind of a bummer. <laughs> so you want to have a child of your own? I... I don't know. That's never been a thing for me. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. <laughs> in a way, that sounds like my dad. Well, that's not fair. He kept you close. But Made he was sure busy you being an N7. Here with him. And he died for you. Yes, but the other decisions he made kept him at a distance. That can be just as bad. I see that. Still, without our fathers, we wouldn't be here. They brought us into this world. Maybe that's enough. Hmm. Thanks for talking, Ryder. No problem, Gil. Got anything else to say? Uh, would you mind taking a slight detour and dropping me back in the Milky Way? What's the problem? <laughs> Little something I just heard about called exaltation. Guess you should have read the fine print on the initiative brochure. <laughs> or read it at all. I gotta start eating more protein and getting a full night's sleep. It'll take everything we got to get through this mess. Talk to you later, Good man. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Interesting. Well, seems that we need to go to Aya. Hey, this door finally opened for once. Can we not take... Actually, wait, I actually want to check the market. Keep forgetting that there's like a terminal here for that. Sell salvage. Confirm that trade. Anything nice I could buy? Soft chicken, silicone. What was that one resource I didn't have? I think it was graphite I didn't have. Not here though. Yeah, there's no graphite. Uh, oh well. Alright. Let's head on to um Old Orbit is steady. Now that your enemy missing science crew, lost scout. Eh. That's that's the button I wanna hit. What's there to do? Trail of Hope, Code Aya, Nexus Eos, Harval. Progression 28%? Really? Scanned everything and it's all at 100. Wow. Assuming all these dots are going to be galaxies we have to go to eventually. I want to go to the Nexus, but I figured I should do this Aya mission. And then go to um, the Nexus. Yo, man. Why are these things glowing? Interesting. Here we go. There's a lot of things to do here. I wonder if this is one of the planets that I have to settle. Probably not. It's gonna kind of probably be like one of the hub worlds, like Omega, Citadel, stuff like that. Place where we don't settle, we rather just buy and sell, maybe do a mission or two.
Full crew. What up? Stars and skies light our way. Hey Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play to a crowd. <laughs> She's the Moshai. What's a Moshai? I never actually asked that question. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the resistance and the pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> For the record, I found her. <laughs> we freed more than just the Moshai, and the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promised to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. Yeah, no rush. You're still recovering. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Not without our help. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. For now, Thank shopping you, day. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. It's a great idea. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Nice. Better actually start looking for the other well done, Joel. <laughs> the other arcs. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. He's welcome on a ship. Joel has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. What if we do anyways? Well. Nice. How big is this place? Damn. Alright. So, before we start exploring this, I'm going to end the episode. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope to stick around for the next episode recording session thingy. And I shall see you then. Bye-bye.